This is a special video. This is a special video. Very special video from us. This is a very special video. Special this video. is a very special video incoming. As you may have seen, our most recent Best Motion Picture episode was 127 Hours and Clash of the Titans. We actually reached out to Aaron Ralston to ask him some questions, and he very graciously took the time to answer us. So we're going to share them with you because they are about the movie. The first one was, or is, when you were first approached to sell the film rights to Between a Rock and a Hard Place, do you recall how long the film adaptation was in development and how involved you were along the way? I was still in the hospital in the ICU in May of 2003 when the first calls and emails came in from producers expressing interest in my story. After writing my book, I had meetings with some of them, including John Smithson, producer of Touching the Void, who in 2006 got me together with Danny Boyle and by 2009 facilitated the contracts for 127 hours. By the time we were walking together down the red carpet at the Oscars, it had been an eight year journey. The greatest respect Danny gave to me, my family and my story was including us every step of the process. It was his desire and my privilege to work with the screenwriter to adapt my book into the script, consult on the set each week during production and to help promote the film. From our research, it seems like you felt at the time 127 Hours was a pretty faithful adaptation of your story in Blue John Canyon. Do you still feel this to be true? Looking back now, is there anything you would want to change about 127 Hours? And Aaron replied, given that Venn diagram of acclaimed dramatic films and highly factual true stories barely overlaps, I was delighted by the authenticity and success of 127 Hours. Danny and his team threaded that needle with a powerfully moving and true film. That said, I still wish they'd included more songs in the soundtrack by my favorite band, Fish. <laughs> Additionally, in our research, it seems like the thing that perpetuates this movie's relevancy is Aaron's legacy, your legacy. Um, people are consistently motivated by you, people connect to you, people are reminded of this film because you are successful and inspirational. How do you feel 127 hours has affected you in the past 10 years, and has that feeling changed or faded over time? And Aaron says, I appreciate your compliments here. While I primarily continue to adventure for my own fulfillment, I agree that it's important for all of us when we feel trapped by boulders in our own lives to see examples of others who have transformed those adversities into advantages. By maintaining the legacy of my story, as you said, 127 Hours has given me a far more expansive platform from which to spread that message. My gratitude to everyone involved in the film is most poignant when I hear from someone who has overcome a loss, an injury, depression, disease, or addiction, and they credit the movie as playing a role in their healing. That feeling has only grown in the past decade. Finally, and this one is more of just a silly one, uh, do you recall or know anything about the 2010 adaptation of Clash of the Titans? If so, what did you think of this film? So Aaron says, ha! <laughs> I certainly liked Remember the Titans a lot more than Clash of the Titans, and at the same time, I have to admit, I enjoyed the scene where Perseus beheads Medusa. Maybe there's some subconscious connection that I have with a character who must summon his perseverance and courage to cut off the thing that will bring him freedom, um, or maybe I'm just overthinking it and it's a cool scene. So. That was our questions, our conversation with Aaron Ralston, the real Aaron Ralston. We freaking, we freaking got Aaron Ralston. Like, it, I freaked out. I FaceTimed her in the middle of the night. And I said, did you see? Did you see emergency? So this was very big for us. This was very exciting for us. Thank you so, so much, Aaron, for responding to us, replying to us. This was incredible that you actually replied and are letting us put this on the internet and everything else. Thank you to everyone who watches our videos and um, thank you to everyone who gives a chance to us and we're excited to grab at even more chances in the future. Yeah, so stay tuned. This is just the beginning. 
if you haven't seen our video discussing the best motion picture nominee 127 hours you can check that out on the next screen or hopefully i'll point to one of the right corners and there'll be a little title card saying to click here thank you so much please watch another one of our videos and have a great day thank you bye bye, bye.